Here's the end goal of what we're looking to achieve. The JFK that wave file is loaded here. We're going to transcribe it. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. You can see it does a pretty good job here. Um, so yeah, the Whisper app is loaded on this Android phone. I'm going to show you some links to uh, other resources and another video in regard to the iOS installation. But anyway, um, yeah, it's working. We can record our voice here and see how it does. It's going to take this recording and turn it into a WAV file. And then we press stop. There we go. And now I'll show you the install process. At least this is how I did it. All right, the first step is to put your phone in developer mode. Here's a decent two minute video of how to do this. I'll put this in the description. After you've done this, go to this link here, code, Download the zip folder. This will go into your downloads folder. Then copy this to the desktop. I mean, you can put it anywhere, but I'm just showing you the desktop. And then unzip it. Now, this assumes that you've already installed Android Studio. If you haven't done that already, then you need to do that. Here are the instructions for the install. So we're going to select the model. Easiest way to do this is to go to Hugging Face and then select which model you want to download. I'll select this tiny one because this is the smallest of all the models. And then just go here. We also have to, well, just for testing purposes, we don't have to do this, but this will be nice. Um, we'll download this as well. Okay. Now what we have to do is create these folders and move the files to these folders. So we have to do main assets models, main assets samples. So let's go. So this is our project root directory. We go to examples, whisper.android, app, source, main. And then here's assets. And then create these folders, so models. And then move your model into here. Samples. Move your sample into here. Now it doesn't really matter where you put the project. You can put it in downloads, which I've done before but I didn't want to lose it by accident by removing download, so I put it on the desktop. And then what you do is you drill down until you get to this whisper.android. So go to examples, then whisper.android, and then when you get to this, then click OK. At one point I had this Gradle error, so I clicked this JDK uh, link here highlighted in red and that worked to solve the Gradle issue. It took like 20 minutes, but it worked Now there are a lot of different ways to view your file structure and you can view by project files or all all kinds of other ways to view things in Android this is what it looks like from the project. And ultimately we want to go to Android. We can see here the files that we moved into these new folders in assets. And they have little question marks here because 
Android Studio just doesn't recognize that file type, but that's okay. Open the build variants here. So go to app, release build variant. Just let it do its thing. Gradle can really take a long time to build. Sometimes this will take, I've seen this go up to 20 minutes sometimes with the, all the Gradle stuff. So while you see this blue bar, just let it go. My computer is about four years old, so it takes a while. All right, I've plugged in my phone. I know the cable's good because I've used it to send data. It's not just a power cable. I'm gonna click here to run app. This is going again. So give it a while. If you want to see if the program, the app has um, indeed installed a new app on the phone, you can also change this, for example, the string to make sure you see a change. And then that'll show up on the phone. The find functions can be useful in Android Studio, so you can go to find or find usages and um, use that to navigate and figure out how things are linked. You can also use control click to find ref references throughout the uh, project. So use this on classes. Now you can do this, start the upgrade assistant, but this can take a while and it's also going to Android Studio updates and so things might be, you know, they rearrange with time depending on the version. Well, that's about it. I want to give a shout out to Pat and Jeff at Squirrel Point Studios. These guys helped me out quite a bit with this and uh, these guys have a ton of experience with coding. So they do Android, they do iOS, all that stuff. Definitely recommend them. When all is said and done, you get something like this. And we can start, we can start recording. It'll turn our recording into a WAV file. And then we hit stop. It'll play the WAV file. We can stop. Sometimes the transcription will take like 10x longer than the, um, the wave file sample. So you can see this is about 10 seconds. Sometimes this transcription takes a long time. And I think it's probably because of my phone, to be honest, because I had it uh, when I was first trying this, it transcribed pretty decently quick. Um, but, uh, yeah, just takes a while now. The benchmark, sometimes it just freezes the phone, to be honest. I mean, this phone's a couple years old, um, and it's not, like, the fanciest technology, so. <laughs> and there we have it. This took 91 seconds to transcribe, so, yeah, almost 10 10 times the uh, length of the actual clip. Well, hope you uh, found this useful, and uh, maybe in your case it'll work better. But uh, thanks for watching, and take care, everybody.